Hey, what's going on? Hey, this is Mario Bird, and I'm actually, I'm sitting here in my home, and I'm Worthington, Ohio, and what I wanted to do in this video is I want to share with you uh, a quick story that I believe that I'll be able to help you to, to, to make uh, strong decisions. I'm talking about uh, decisions in life that you know that you want to uh, uh, make and that you should make, but for some reason, there's some various things in your way that's holding you back from making those decisions. And uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to use this story of what happened to me and um, how everybody, you know, looked down upon me for making this decision of wanting to fulfill my dreams and going for it, regardless of what it was. I went for it. And I can honestly say all my life. Um, you know, I, w I was I was told that I was like radical, like uh, different. And even today, people tell me, Mario, man, you you're strange, man. You're different. You're always uh, you do your own thing. OK, you, you're not. It seems like you're not afraid to, 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 to go a certain way when everybody else is afraid to do something. It seems like you're never afraid. OK. And the thing is, I, I'm not. And I've always been that way, and I'm thankful for that. And and I believe it, it stemmed from my childhood, how my parents raised me, and especially, you know, being raised in the church. But with that, I want to share this with you. Um, when I was 18 years old, I'm, I'm originally from um, Warren, Ohio. That's where I was born and raised, okay? But I, I used to uh, attend this church called the East Side Church of Christ on the, uh, on the east side of, of Warren, Ohio. And we were... It was me and uh, quite a few other kids. We, we were, they were um, celebrating us graduating um, high school and, and getting ready to go off to bigger and better things. All right, so they, we was all up in front of the the, the congregation. It was a, a special thing going on, and they was asking each one of us what we wanted to do, what we what we had in mind to do when we when we graduate. And I was probably like the second to the last person. And everybody that was ahead of me, they would say, you know, I'm going to I'm going to uh, Ohio State or I'm going to go to Michigan State or I'm going to Kent State, Akron, Youngstown University, whatever it was. And some of the other kids, they said they're going to work uh, probably a year before they really uh, uh, decide what they want to do because they were kind of undecided at the time. And then when it came to me, I was like, I want to be a rapper in everybody's mouths dropped. They thought I was joking. I was dead serious. And my heart was set on it. There was nothing nobody could tell me to deter, deter me from pursuing my dreams. But let me let me um, share this with you. I, from that point, I, I, was, uh, I, was, I was set on moving to either LA or Atlanta or even or Cleveland. Okay, one of those three cities. So what I end up doing here is moving to Atlanta because I, I had a lot of family, a lot of family down down there also. So I did that, and within that move, it was um, my my um, my girlfriend at the time, you know, my kid's mom and everything. And what we end up doing here is pursuing my dreams. And some of my friends from Warren, who had the same vision, they they came down too, and. At that time, this group called Bone Thugs and Harmony was hitting really hard. It was from Cleveland, and I was hoping I could, you know, you know, connect with them because when they came out, I always said this, man. One day I'm gonna rap with those dudes, man. I'm gonna hook up with them, you know. And I, I kind of just, you know, I kind of just, you know, followed their style and everything, and you know, being from the, the Ohio area. So what I end up doing, long story short. I at in Atlanta I, I didn't um hook up with who I wanted to hook up with, you know, the, the rappers. So some problems happened, so I end up moving back to Ohio, to Warren, Ohio, and then from there, my brother, he got me out of Warren and moved and, and he said, You gonna come on down here to Columbus. I came to Columbus, checked it out, and I was like, Wow, this is cool. So I started over again and I hooked up with some friends down here you know, from Louisiana and, and, and Columbus, and we formed a group here. And I, my heart was still set on rapping with Bone Thugs and Harmony. 
So one day as we were uh, going to Myers, because me and my group was going to uh, get our pictures taken for our autobiographies, uh, um, you know, so we could submit, you know, for, for getting a record deal and all and all and all. We were just walking into Myers on Cleveland Avenue in, in, in Columbus, Ohio. And sure enough, I seen who I, I, I didn't expect this. I ran into a busy bone from Bone Thugs. And I, I was with my buddy, you know, from um, Louisiana. I was like, yo, man, look, look, look. He was like, what? I said, that's busy from Bone Thugs, man. He was like, no. Uh -uh. I was like, yes, it is. I was like, stop him. So um, my boy kind of, you know, stopped him and everything. And we did a, we did an audition right then and there in front of everybody. We was rapping. And what he ended up saying, we ended up trading numbers and everything. He said, could y'all put that on CD? I was like, yeah. So about, give it about two weeks later, he ended up calling us. And he was like, hey, man, we, me and all the guys, we down at the studio. Can y'all come on down? I was like, yeah. You, and um, we, my group, we just got done rehearsing. It was 11 o'clock at night. I had to be at work 7 in the morning. But we was like, forget it. We turned the, turned the vehicle around. We ended up heading down to the studio where they was all at. So we in there. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. I was like a, a kid in a toy store. It was all of my, some of, you know, my, my my biggest fans, all these rappers. And I was like, man, I just saw that video the other day on MTV, you know. And they was busy. was like, man, cool out, Rio. You with us now. And I'm like, oh, man, this is crazy. But what ended up happening is we end up going. I mean, just hitting it off, man, on the radio and everything, just doing it, you know. Uh, doing little tours and just little things, man. And he, you know, and he appeared on, you know, uh, a few of our, our our songs and stuff. And we was just kicking it. But I say that to say this. You, if you have dreams, goals, and aspirations, regardless of what people may think and say, you, you, you can't be fearful. You just got to go for it. You got to go for it, man, and just do it, all right? Now, needless to say, my dreams, and uh, they end up changing, and I end up getting into uh, becoming a business owner because of that same fear that I didn't have, really, when I made that decision to, to um, say, I'm going for it, regardless of what everybody else is doing. I'm going to do my own thing, and I'm going to be successful at what I do, and I'm going to succeed in life, and I did it. And I became, a, you know, in my own network marketing business, and because of that, listen, I'm, I just want to encourage you not to be fearful because we've seen what the economy has done to so many people. There's some of the very people who I uh, graduated with. And some of the very people that work jobs, I've seen them lay off, get laid off, lose things, lose so much. And because, and I've even worked a job where I got laid off, but because of my network marketing business, even, even when I shared it with those very people and they said no, and they thought I was crazy, all right, when they laid us all off, I seen grown men break down and almost in tears and everything because they had no idea what they was going to do. I was like, man, my business, I'm bringing in, you know, a, a few extra hundred here, 500, 1,000, you know, and not even based off of my own uh, activity, but that of my team. I was like, I'm good, you know, and I'm happy. And I, I just want to, you know, encourage you because my best day, I can honestly say, and my business was over $1,500. My best half hour was over $670. And, and, and it wasn't all for my own efforts. Because on jobs, what do you do? You got to trade time for money. With a business and like network marketing, you have leverage where you can do what you want. Like, for instance, I, I just took went on a little trip and I had income coming into my uh, account based off of some uh, me doing one thing. One time, and I'm still generating traffic, leads, and signups from my videos and articles by leveraging the internet to grow my network marketing business. So I just wanted to share that with you. I know this was kind of long and drawn out, but hey, don't be afraid. I'm telling you, this is Mario Bird. Click the link below. Come over to my blog. See how it is happening and see how it can happen for you also. Click the link below.